Hey guys, Alan Cameron here today and today I would like to show you how to get at least almost unlimited storage. Well not almost because there's no such thing really as unlimited storage. There could be but like it's not really possible to get it at this portion of a drive. I've seen people try and do it before, but I don't think they've done it correctly. So type in format in search and click on create and format hard disk portions. Sorry, portions. And then here, go action, create VHD. And what you want to do is you want to make sure it's not anywhere on the desktop or in any of these files. Because if it's on this PC, all the files will just go here. So you want to make sure it's in a drive. So iCloud or, you know, um, and the, um, or OneDrive. And then just create, um, a, um, shortcut to your desktop. So we're going to call this 64TB Storage. Now you don't have to name yours this, you can name it something else. You could have you could have as many drives as you want, but I'm just creating one for now. Um you could have one for games, one for apps, one for music, one for everything. Me personally I listen to a lot of music, but I want this drive to be shared. Um, that's why I'm putting it in iCloud Drive because I did this on my desktop as well, but it isn't in one cloud drive. So 64 TB storage because that's as much as you can go up to if you do VHDX. So then you go here and you click on terabytes and for me I'm going to go 64 because I like having as much storage as I can. You know what I'm like. And then you right click here. And you tap on properties just to make sure it says that it's working correctly and everything. And then tap initialize and make it master boot record, I'm pretty sure. And if I'm wrong, you can always take it back so it's all one disk again. And then there should be a thing here, new simple volume, and then go next and just go assign the following drive letter and then 64 TB storage. And yes, you might want to enable this and format um if you don't want to format the drive just hit do not but that's what i want to call it and if you're just simple you could just call it e actually yeah that's what i'm gonna stick with default and yeah you want ntfs default and you want to name it what it was named or your own personal name then click next and then finish and this says um, formatting it says it's online too right so it's see here we go now you have the drive see I can just go out of here click on folder and then hit this PC and BAM there's our drive 63.9 terabytes and that won't eat out of our desktop storage that will eat out of apple's icloud storage but that's okay because you can create another account just for that folder to be there so that'll eat out of your storage but it's okay because it'll just keep going anyway it's not going to stop you because it's not their drive it's your drive as a shortcut in their folder so you can't like they can't cut it off and say 
oh yeah like you've used up all your storage but really it's just gonna keep going and keep going and the best part is is that if it's in iCloud you could probably in a way access it from your iPod or iPhone or iPad or whatever really and then you can just save music onto E and then you can go on your iPhone, iPad, whatever and go to um, um, iCloud and then maybe if you're lucky this shortcut might be there but my OneDrive wouldn't work so I personally just used um, the iCloud because I honestly couldn't care so yeah thank you for watching my video I hope you enjoyed the video um, smash the thumbs up if you liked this video and I'll see you next time peace